What's up everyone? This is Hotel Break, your place to visit when planning your vacation. This time we're taking a look at the Anaheim Fairfield Inn by Marriott. As you're making your way through the lobby, you see a gift shop and a convenience store to your left and greeted by the friendly hotel staff straight ahead. Upon entering the room, you're looking at a themed room with two queen beds and one small sofa bed. Now as far as I can tell, the only difference between the themed rooms and a non-themed room is the themed wall and also priority in viewing the park. So you may be able to get a better view of the park for fireworks and such later. Now as we're walking through, you see your standards, TV, you do have a coffee maker, tea, and then if you pull out this drawer, there is a safe in the drawer in case you have any valvos you need to stow when at the park. And then underneath the safe, there is a small refrigerator where you can keep any items you do need refrigerated and it's a small freezer section, but you really can't fit much there. And as we make our way through the room, you can see they do have ample lighting, a night light with an alarm clock right next to it. And they do have a, two drawers for storage uh, right by the bed and the nightstand. And what is nice, there is two options to charge your devices on the alarm clock. You have a standard USB and a USB-C. Then if we travel over to the other table lamp, there is two AC outlets in which you can make a home base to charge as well. Now the furniture is a little tired looking, but underneath the TV, we do have four drawers if you want to store any of the items out of your suitcase. Now part of the fun in being a Disney partner in the hotel, you do get to see nice touches and hints of Disney throughout the hotel. And I thought this one was pretty nice and pretty fun to look at. The rooms come with an AC unit. I don't remember it being overly loud or keeping you up at night, but they do have a thermometer that you can control to set it to your desired temperature. And also, they do have the option of joining rooms in case you're staying with family members. As I mentioned earlier, this room does come with a sofa bed. Now the two queens come with a smaller sofa bed than the one king. The two queens is a single and the one king is a double, so plan accordingly when booking a room. It does appear that the bedding for the pullout bed is to the left of the sink, right by the iron above the closet. The sink and vanity are pretty standard, but are located outside of the shower and toilet, which can be very helpful. And there is a luggage stand and a ironing board as well. There's a full-size bathtub. You have your shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel on the wall. The shower curtain is a garden style shower curtain, so you do get a little extra room. And now I'm 6'2", and the shower head is raised, so you will be able to fit under that shower head, although it looks a little low. As you enter the property, they do have a swimming pool and a hot tub. The hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and does have ample seating and looks very, very clean. Also located on the property, they do have a common area where it includes a microwave, toasters, uh, seating to eat. It did look at one point they had a buffet or some type of breakfast, but I think that was closed after COVID and has not reopened yet. And there is a gym located on the property. It looks like a good spot to get some cardio in if you're missing it from home. As if the parks weren't enough stimulation for your kids during the day, they do have an arcade as well located on the property. Um, you can see various different types of games here, uh, claw games, arcade games, and an air hockey table. Now it's time to hand out the grades. As always, we'll be judging four categories, location, quality, extras, and value. Location. When visiting Disneyland Park, this hotel is in a great location. It's almost directly across from the entrance of the park. There are a few hotels that are closer, but this one is really close. It takes about 10 minutes to walk to the park entrances on Esplanade or to the parking garage. It takes about seven minute drive and the area feels safe. However, I would avoid parking in the back of the hotel because there is not much visibility towards the back end. So I would choose the sides or the front of the hotel. Access to food at this location is great as well. You have McDonald's and Panera very close to the hotel on your way to the park so you can grab breakfast or coffee. 
However, I would advise placing a mobile order as these locations become very busy in the morning when you're trying to quickly move to the park. So for location, it gets an A. Quality. The showers are clean with no mold on the grout or caulking. The beds are very comfortable. Noise is low and does not wake you up as it set back away from the main road. The front desk was accommodating with any requests for additional tea, coffee, or towels. The property is old but somewhat updated. The furniture feels tired but ample and the property overall just has a nice feeling to it. So for quality, it gets a B. Extras. So the amenities that come with the hotel are free Wi-Fi, an outdoor pool, outdoor hot tub, fitness center, the meeting space, the convenience store, gift shop, you do have a dry cleaning service and laundry, you have the game room, they also provide wake up calls as well. So they do have a long list of amenities uh, when staying at the property. And you do have a refrigerator and safe in the hotel, which is a nice touch and things you don't think you need, but sometimes you do. However, parking. Let's talk about parking. So on-site parking is $24 a day. It's one car per room. Additional vehicles have to park off-site no RVs, trailers, or oversized vehicles are allowed, so keep that in consideration. And there's no extended parking as well. Now, most properties, especially in California near Disneyland Park, do charge for parking, but there are hotels close to Disneyland Park that do not charge for parking, so we do have to keep that into consideration during this grading process. And let's talk about our furry friends. At this hotel, there are no pets allowed, but they do allow service animals. Now, most people may not bring their pet because they are going to be at the park for extended hours, but there are some families that only do half days at a park or their kids need to come back early and they do want to bring their pets. So that's also something to take into consideration. And there's no free breakfast bar. I understand at one point they may have had it, but the lack of the inclusion now means no free bagel or free coffee, a quick eat on the way to the park to maybe bypass an extra stop that you had along the way. So for this, it receives a C. Lastly, value. The price is average compared to the other hotel prices located across the park on Harbor Boulevard. The hotel can rise quite high during a peak day or special events. But during the average days, it's a good value. A few things discussed in the extras hold this grade back a little, but the friendly staff and the good sleep for a Disney partner and hotel lands us on a B. That brings us to our final grade. With everything taken into consideration, the location, the quality, extras, and value, the Fairfield in Anaheim by Marriott receives a B, and it is mouse break approved. Thanks for watching and remember, life moves pretty fast, take a mouse break.